It's the Wayne County Football Show with Marshall Wood and head football coach Jack Hankins. Brought to you by Extreme Guns, Alpha Insurance, Boondock Eddies, Circle C Tractor, and First State Bank. All the information you need for Wayne County football. Welcome one and all to War Eagle Football Show with Coach Jack Hankins. Coach, 2022 is now here. Happy New Year to you and yours, Coach. Happy New Year. Appreciate you having us again. Can you believe it's 2022? We're closing in right here, uh, you know, on, on your anniversary here. And uh, <laughs> almost a year now. It's, it's getting closer. It's, uh, I feel like. I feel like time is in, just in a blink of an eye, and next thing you know, it's going to be August, and we'll be getting ready for football season. Man, so. no, we re- I, I, and I know, I know I'm ready, and I know you are yes, too. Sir. In our first two shows, we've been discussing your arrival here and your program. And anything in retrospect you want to mention here, at Coach, before we move on? Well, not really. We've we've done a good job of setting the, setting the tone on how we're going to run the program from the inside and give give our viewers and our War Eagle Nation a kind of a look what's going on behind the scenes a little bit. So. I think we're good, Marshall. We're ready to move on wherever you want to take it. Let's go with it. Then you recently, you know, closing out, you know, twenty twenty one. You had your uh, you had your banquet. We sure did. Tell we, us a little bit about that. Okay, we had it. Um, you know, and banquets kind of. I've heard coaches talk about it. it's kind of a double edged sword. You know, you you hate to do banquets because all the work in it. But man, we needed. I know because of COVID, the last couple of years, man, we needed something positive for our guys. We had a nice banquet um, there at First Baptist Church, and uh, let me tell you, we got to send our seniors out the right way, I think, and because they did a great job of setting the foundation for us to, to you know, climb kind of on their back and, and move forward. And let me tell you, it was a good job. It's always good to recognize your seniors, Marshall, but I recognize everybody on the football team because mm-hmm. you know seniors are not the only part of that team. So. We're able to recognize everybody that participated with us and played, and that's always a good thing because those guys that you may not call out on Friday night are still important and they're right. still part of the team. So right. that that was good. It kind of gave us a little bit of closure on the year, and um, we're ready to move forward to the 2022 edition of the War Eagles. One thing I want to go back, and uh, I'm looking at that on your desk, that win now. You know, you kind of adopted that mantra when you got here because of your seniors. That's right. You know, you want them to know that, you know, they were going to be a part of the winning, and they weren't going to have to wait. And, you know, it worked out pretty good for them. Yeah, it? <laughs> it did. You know, that, that was the main thing. You know, when the coach goes in and takes over a new program, people, you know, it's just common, I guess, common knowledge. People say, oh, give him two or three years, give him three or four years, let him get his guys in there. Mm-hmm. Well, I wanted those seniors to know they're my guys. Yeah. And I know that they didn't probably pick me, but I picked them, yeah. and they were my guys, and we were going to move forward and uh you know, they probably like me heard all the time. They're too small, too slow, and too inexperienced, and too this and too that to win. And uh, we wanted to kind of flip that upside down. So, uh, like I said, whether they chose me or not, I chose them. They're my guys, and we wanted to win now, not wait three or four years. You know, that's a huge thing you just mentioned, Coach, and I hadn't thought about it, but uh, you picked them. Yes, sir. You know, that's, that, that says a lot. I, I hadn't even thought about it in that, light, in that light. But, you know, those kids knowing that, you know uh, – you picked them. That's 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 huge. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. They responded well. Yes, sir. They did. Very proud of them. We've not gotten any X and O's yet, but that's coming at some point. But we're getting closer. But first, let's look at your coaching staff. And uh, first thing we want to look at, we go position by position, getting into what you want them to teach and and, and coach, and how they go about that on a on a on a daily basis. Okay, sure. Um, it's, this was a this is a good question, Marshall. So. Our running back, we'll start with the offensive side. We'll move to the defense. You know, defense wins championships. We'll save that for the last. There you but, go. You know, we'll start with our running backs. Coach Moore coaches those running backs. Um, and one thing he, he believed in after we talked and met, and again, after I watched a ton of film, you know, because of COVID, I had all the time in the world to watch film on us from previous years. Yeah. Our number our number one thing before we taught plays, before we taught anything, was ball security. That was what he was responsible for. <laughs> You know, we had a, a ton of turnovers the year before, and uh, I'm proud to say we, we cut that down to really, if I remember right, maybe one with our varsity guys and our JV guys had a few. But, you know, we, we cut that number drastically. And um, other than – I remember if you remember back, I think it was Pascagoula or either George Cannon, but Isaiah had fumbled one. He broke out on the guy got him, but Eddie Poo had scooped it up. That's the only varsity fumble I remember us having. Wow. And – um. We, we cut that, like I said, we cut that down probably from about 35 or 40 to, to basically one. So that 
we preach it out every day. We talk about it every day. We do things in the weight room to help make that. Um, you know, you can do things in the weight room that will help you with that. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I monitored that through, and the, I call them uh, giveaway takeaways. And we mm-hmm. we we maintain a plus, you know, all year long in that. And I don't, you know, mm-hmm. know the diff- how it all it transpired, what made it interceptions and all mm-hmm. that kind of sure. stuff. But we were on the plus side of that. And each time you get a you got a plus in the giveaway takeaway department, you got an extra position. Yeah, that's right. You're exactly right. And our goal, we want to get a plus three. Yeah. Every single game, you know, the stats are. I say the stats, the data tell you that if you can get a plus three, you're probably going to win about 88, 90% of those games. So that's kind of that's kind of our goal within a goal. You know, we just we don't say a lot. We won't take that ball away. And if you look, that's what happened in Pascagoula. Mm-hmm. It's what helped us in um, George County, tremendously in George County. Mm-hmm. It's what helped us in Brookhaven. I mean, that, those things are very important. So um, outside of coach teaching, you know, ball security, we're going to work on plays all the time. Mm-hmm. All the time, and um, with our wide receivers, there everybody knows. Warrior Nation knows Coach Lofton. I hear he's a legend around here. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I tell you, Malik does a great job. He he was one of the ones that really his position stood out on film last year when I watched a lot of film. And here, here's the thing: you may say, "Well, receivers, Coach, I see they go out there and teach them to catch." No, that that's not it. Um, usually, guys that are in the receiver group, they probably already can catch. He's going to teach them how to catch better. But I tell you what Malik does a great job of is teaching those guys how to block. And that's the most important thing. You may say, well, you're talking about a receiver's coach. Yeah, they got to know how to block. Even in the NFL, Marshall, a 10-catch night is considered to be a phenomenal night. If he had 10 catches, you know, it doesn't matter if it's the Green Bay Packers or somebody with Tampa Bay and Tom, a 10-catch night is is top of the tops, best of the best. And think about in high school, we're not going to have a lot of 10-catch nights hardly ever. In the course of a game, you get probably 55 to 60 plays. And as a receiver, you know, we try to spread the ball around. We don't have one guy we go to. So a 10-catch night is, is is not going to really happen a whole lot if you really do the numbers. But guess what you're going to do over more than half the time? You're going to block. Mm-hmm. And um, your receiver's blocking is what springs usually your big plays, mm-hmm. the big plays down the field. So, you know, Malik does a great job with that. You know, I want to I want to talk about him for a minute. When you got here, I sent you a video uh, of him when he was playing here, and he, they were in gym, and mm-hmm. he said, "You know, I want to play football." And he said, "I won't be a football coach if I can't do that. I don't know what I'm going to yeah. do." You know, but his dreams come true. He's coming. That's right. He we're does, glad to have him. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, he does a great job, and and he he was a good one. Yeah, he could go. Yes, sir. <laughs> but uh, so that brings well. I just before we get to the line, I coach the quarterbacks, and um. You know, I, I probably coach them harder than anybody else on the team because they're responsible. It's kind of like a gun. If you're holding that gun and you pull the trigger, you're responsible for wherever that bullet goes. Mm-hmm. Okay? That quarterback has the ball, and he's supposed to be the best um, point guard and distributor that there is for us. And I know the different styles and different quarterbacks do different things, but, um, you know, our quarterback's got to make great decisions. Yeah. You know – uh, we're getting close to a break right here, but we'll talk about quarterback. And I, I may have I may have talked about this already, but I'm gonna say it again. I, I've been having to repeat myself. I saw a, an interview one time uh, with Nick Saban and a bunch of guys sitting around. Hugh Freeze was still at Ole Miss at that time, and and they, and they were sitting around a table talking about the most important player on the team. And uh, everybody was saying this and that. It said the, the interview said apart from your quarterback, they got to Coach Saban, and they, he said this your quarterback. They said, Coach, we, we can't include the quarterback. He said we can't not include him. Yeah. Because he is the most important guy well, on the team. And you coach quarterbacks. We do. I do. Yeah. And we, we expect a lot out of our guys, yeah. and we expect for them to get it right. And, you know, you, you only have a limited number of series and a limited number of snaps, and you, you can't waste a single one of them. Yeah. Coach, I want to interrupt you for a minute, take a time, take a break here to hear from some of our sponsors. And Coach Hankins and I will be right back after this word. Step into the extreme, extreme guns that is, located at 711 Station Street in Waynesboro. You'll find the extreme with the area's only authorized Benelli dealer and the area's only Browning Master dealer. When we say extreme, we mean it, as we have the largest local selection of firearms. If optics is your game, extreme guns is an authorized dealer for Vortex Optics, along with thermal and night vision scopes in stock. In addition to firearms, optics, and ammunition, extreme has all of your bow hunting accessories. 
and we can even repair your cell phone while you look around. Step into and experience the extreme. You'll be glad you did. Extreme Guns, located 711 Station Street in Waynesboro. Once you start banking online, it all just starts to click. You get e-statements, online bill pay, 24-7 access, your whole financial picture right on your screen. Plus, with our bank, you get the local support you need to make it all work. Get clicking with online banking today. First State Bank, a better way to bank. Member FDIC. Online at firststatebnk.com. When you come out to eat with us at Boondock Eddie's, we care. We care about providing you with a pleasurable dining experience that you deserve and will be happy with. We care about the quality of food we prepare for and serve to you. We care about the service we provide if you're dining in or taking out. We care about providing you with the best food you can find anywhere. At Boondock Eddie's, we put our hearts into what we prepare for you because we care. Come out to Boondock Eddie's and see for yourself. If you're looking for a pleasurable dining experience, we make it happen for you because at Boondock Eddie's, we care about you. So much to do and so little time. Get it all done and do it right with Circle C Tractor. Steel products like trimmers, blowers, chainsaws, and accessories. Generate generators that are quieter than a Honda. There's only one place to go and get it all done, and that's Circle C Tractor. Located 1510 SLU Drive. Open Monday through Friday, 7 until 5, and 8 until noon on Saturday. Locally owned and operated. Call 601-735-3103. When it comes to insurance, one size does not fit all. At Alpha, our friendly hometown team will steer you in the right direction toward the protection you need at a price you can afford. We offer a variety of discounts for a variety of reasons, from your car's safety features to your history of safe driving. Call Alpha agent Mark Gordon at 735-1186. Drive away with savings today at Alpha Insurance. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we're talking about quarterback coaches, and we just wrapped up with our quarterback coach position. And uh, it looks like we got some pretty good quarterback coach. There's your plug. Coach. Well, how about that? Well, <laughs> well, it depends how well we play. If we win or lose, or it depends how we do the ball. You know how that? I know how. I know the territory. All right, let, let's proceed. All right. Well, we're, as the wind out our um, offensive side of the ball, Marshall's our offensive line, and I, I tell you, I think that's the most underrated and most important part of our football team because look we've got great backs wayne county from my research and i know from your knowledge wayne county's always had good backs you know think about it. they've had great backs great quarterback great receivers that really in the big scheme of things uh, that don't pay the bills so to speak okay <laughs> uh, our offensive linemen pay the bills and we've got coach coasting and coach will taylor they're both coaching offensive line and they have a huge responsibility because especially when you get into our double wing stuff, Marshall, we go all the way from wing back. to So, really, really Coach Coaching does center and guards, and Coach Taylor coaches basically <clears throat> tight ends and tackles. And let me tell you, that's, that's, a, big, that's, that's a big responsibility. And, um, you know, we, we expect them to teach our guys, you know, head placement, hand placement. The main thing, and you're going to probably think I'm crazy, is stepping with the correct foot. If they will step with the correct foot the way they're supposed to go, they can get in the way, you know. And sometimes, that's just like the big old boy from Brookhaven, you know, we we don't have a guy that's going to block a 6'3", 360-pound nose guard head up. Uh, but, you know, if, if we get in the way and, and we, we, we kind of make a joke of it, get run over slowly. Yeah. You know, if you get run over slowly and get in the way, you, you can kind of – Stop the stop the bleeding a little bit, but um, they have a tremendous job, and I and I'll say it, and I know me and you talked about it at the break about you know what Coach Saban and Coach Freeze have said about the court. I think the offensive line is probably the most important position. I know there's several positions. Up. It's the most important group on the team because even looking college, everybody's got good backs, and it does. Yeah, that's not a knock on our guys. I'm glad we got our guys, and I don't want anybody else, but. If your line can't prepare and block for them, prepare the way, kind of, it, it really doesn't matter too much. I had a coach tell me one time uh, that the the two two position groups, it was critical for them to play together. One of them was the defensive backs, and the other, I never thought about it, 
was the offensive line. He said if the offensive line, you know, is not in sync and they're not working together or the defensive backs as a group, they have to play as a group. It's more important because if they don't, then somebody's band, the other team's band is going to be played. You're absolutely <laughs> right. It's funny you mention it. You know, just, just tell you our core offensive line, there's five guys. Well, that, if each one of them have a percent, that's 20 percent. So – if one of your guys messes up on a play, the the best you can make is eighty percent on that play because you've already taken. So if you get two of your guys mess up, when well now we're in six. Well the best we can do is a sixty percent. That's if all other three do the right thing. So it's critical. That's a great point. And when we tell them that, we have to work as a unit. We we can't take a twenty percent hit because the guy forgets to do his job or goes the wrong way or steps with the wrong foot. or You know, we tell our guys, and we show up. I'm big on film work and a lot of film. And, and we, man, I think you can show them, you know, people have different learning styles. You know, people learn mm-hmm. um, auditory from listening. They, they visual Yeah, learner. they learn from visual, from yeah. seeing. And they learn from kinesthetics, and that means hands-on. And we try to target all of those learning styles to hit all of our guys. But I'm really big on the visual. I can tell you something, but until I can really show you, and that's show you on the film, show you on the board, and show you outside, and that's where we get to our kinesthetic part. When I can show you that, you can see that. And uh, what we want to kind of stay away from is the my bad guys. You know, they, they see it on film. My bad, Coach. My bad. I, you know, why would you go that way? Well, I knew it. My, my bad. <laughs> The way I got it figured out, my bad guys get you fired, okay? <laughs> so we want to stay away from the my bad, my bad guys and my bad plays and, um, and, and do it the right way. You know, I hear you, and you, you saying some things that sounds analytical. You know, we hear that there's a buzzword around football now that, that, that I haven't heard, you know, coming up through the decades. But now there's a word that pops up on every Saturday and every every Sunday, analytics. <laughs> analytics. Now, uh, some of these things you're talking about right there that's got an analytical tone to it. How big is analytics with you and your coaching staff? We, this is going to wind us up for the day, so we're going to go out on analytics. Well, let me tell you, I don't know if you're trying to get all the Ole Miss people mad at me, <laughs> but it's not nearly as big. We don't have anybody with a book looking at it from the standpoint that we got to go forward to punt it, and I'm not going to get in the kiffing stuff. But uh, let me tell you, we <laughs> analytics or not, we, we want to show them, we want them to do it right, and – the percentages, they, they are what they are. Yeah. You know, if you, if we can't do that right and we can't get our guys to go the right way, Marshall, we're not good enough for two two guys out of five to, to go the wrong way or, or just blow the assignment, you know? Everybody's got to be on yeah, point. Yeah, your analytics gets down to where we're, we can only be successful, you know, 60% of that's going to be successful. And, you know, in school, that's a D. <laughs> I was taught that wasn't real good. Mom and Daddy didn't – we didn't bring home 60% of nothing, you know? <laughs> Right. So we uh, we got to get it going, and I'm sure for some people the analytics are, is a lot a bigger deal for them for us. But uh, you know we and may, maybe some other teams would like to uh, get into that. Sometimes we're gonna punt the ball when you're supposed to, and and go for it when it feels right. You know, there's a gut instinct that I think overrides all analytics. So uh, I'm kind of an Al Davis kind of guy. Are you just win? Baby. Just win, baby. That's right. <laughs> I All like right. Well, I coach, like it. Well, Coach, looks like we run our course for today. The old horn is about to blow. But before we go, remember you can follow War Eagle Football on Facebook at War Eagle Football and on YouTube at War Eagle Football MS. And, of course, on WABO FM 105.5. But for now, Wayne County Football comes to a close for this session. We out. Step into the extreme, extreme guns that is, located at 711 Station Street in Waynesboro. You'll find the extreme with the area's only authorized Benelli dealer and the area's only Browning Master dealer. When we say extreme, we mean it, as we have the largest local selection of firearms. If optics is your game, extreme guns is an authorized dealer for Vortex Optics, along with thermal and night vision scopes in stock. In addition to firearms, optics, and ammunition, extreme has all of your bow hunting accessories and we can even repair your cell phone while you look around. Step into and experience the extreme. You'll be glad you did. Extreme Guns, located 711 Station Street in Waynesboro. Once you start banking online, it all just starts to click. You get e-statements, online bill pay, 24-7 access, your whole financial picture right on your screen. Plus, with our bank, you get the local support you need to make it all work. Get clicking with online banking today. 
First State Bank, a better way to bank. Member FDIC. Online at firststatebnk.com. When you come out to eat with us at Boondock Eddie's, we care. We care about providing you with a pleasurable dining experience that you deserve and will be happy with. We care about the quality of food we prepare for and serve to you. We care about the service we provide if you're dining in or taking out. We care about providing you with the best food you can find anywhere. At Boondock Eddie's, we put our hearts into what we prepare for you because we care. Come out to Boondock Eddie's and see for yourself. If you're looking for a pleasurable dining experience, we make it happen for you because at Boondock Eddie's, we care about you. So much to do and so little time. Get it all done and do it right with Circle C Tractor. Steel products like trimmers, blowers, chainsaws, and accessories. Generate generators that are quieter than a Honda. There's only one place to go and get it all done, and that's Circle C Tractor. Located at 1510 SLU Drive. Open Monday through Friday, 7 until 5 and 8 until noon on Saturday. Locally owned and operated. Call 601-735-3103. When it comes to insurance, one size does not fit all. At Alpha, our friendly hometown team will steer you in the right direction toward the protection you need at a price you can afford. We offer a variety of discounts for a variety of reasons, from your car's safety features to your history of safe driving. Call Alpha agent Mark Gordon at 735-1186. Drive away with savings today at Alpha Insurance. Thanks for listening to Wayne County Football Show, brought to you by Extreme Guns, Alpha Insurance, Boondock Eddies, Circle C Tractor, and First State Bank.